So we're about to go in here. I can't tell you how excited I am. If you can't tell, we're gonna go ahead and do a podcast with Lance Armstrong, the one, the only, the great. Say what you want to about him, but <laughs> he's still the best, so whatever. So I'm gonna give him a, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him a book. I got a special note for him, check this out. Lance, sir, it's truly an honor. Thank you for all that you do. And you can read the last part, can't you? All right, let's do it. We actually have the medal here. This is, I, 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 I was super nervous. Like, I texted you yesterday. I was like, so where, where is that medal? Uh, I keep it in the house. Um, it stays in the house. You know, yeah, it's here at the house. I didn't realize that it's like a toy for your daughter. Yeah, she loves it. Um, but I said, well, maybe you could bring it along. Yeah. All right, so here we go. It's uh, December 10th, 2017. You know, the one question I always get is, hey, Dakota, what do you do all day? So I went up, I spoke with Rob from Lunkers TV. You guys know, you guys seen the video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start doing a video every day. We're gonna, we're gonna give some time at it. See, see, see if people are really interested in what, what the everyday life is. So here we go, we got a crazy day built up today, Sunday. Right now it is, I think it's uh, probably about 6.45. It's a little chilly out here in Austin, Texas. I gotta go over and get some food. We got a big day planned. I'm gonna go to church this morning after church. I gotta pack my stuff. I'm heading up to Dallas. I'm going to a Cooper, it's called a Reboot uh, program. I'm gonna go up there. I gotta, gotta get a little tune up. You know, everybody's gotta get a little tune up sometimes. It's just it's just part of it. It's just part of it. I'll talk more about that a little bit later. But right now I gotta go pick some stuff up, come back, get ready, get the kids out the door. And then this afternoon is gonna be crazy. And then tomorrow we're gonna be doing a little bit of hunting. Rob is gonna be down fishing, so I figured I'd go over and take over a little bit of his hunting spots and, uh, you know, get a little tuning up. But right now, it's just me and my sidekick, one of them. What's up? What's up? You can get ready, Ellie. You can get ready. You can get ready. You can get ready. Time to go to church. Okay, what's the chicken say? What does the cow say? No. What does the bear say? <sighs> It is 1146. It's beautiful out. Texas has gotten beautiful today. Austin, it's, uh, it's warmed up a lot more than I thought it was going to do. Right now, I am getting ready to clean out my sequoia. Check it out. Yep, there you go. Clean it out. I've had kids in it. We went to the zoo yesterday. Um, went to church this morning. You know, you know how kids are, right? And also, you know, I got a huge surprise this evening. It's so incredible. I'm so honored. I don't. I can't even believe that I'm. I'm saying this right now, but I get to go and do a podcast with Lance Armstrong. It's you know Lance lives down here. We work out on it all the time together. Not together, but we're in the same facility. So I like to say together. You know what I mean? Lance doesn't know he's working out with me, but I try to get next to him, and I'm like working out with him. He has no idea I'm working out with him though. Rob said that I got to share and be open with you, so I'm going to be open with you about it. I got a huge week this next week. I've had a huge week last week. It's something that's finally I finally came to terms with uh, about really just getting myself back to be the best me because at the end of the day, I need to be the best me for not just – not just me, but for, for my kids. They, they, they deserve that. So it's going to be great. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you more about driving up there. Let me get my stuff going, and I will be back at you. So I'm also going to take my Roughneck AR-15. Here, look at that. It has that Vortex Razor on it, too. So basically, I know it's, it's a big scope to have on it, but we had it set up that way. That way we didn't have to carry an optic as well. Uh, in the sniper competition, there's a lot of moving, so... I go on this adventure all right everybody here we are I okay so you could tell a different tone in my voice I can't tell you how excited I am to go in here and shoot this with um, Lance Armstrong I mean holy smokes this guy's the man we're about to walk in here I'm gonna be able to do this 
I, you know, I, I'm honestly out of words. I don't, I don't run out of words often, but Knives is here, so we're gonna be able to get it all on, on, on video. Look, I, look, I know Lance, you know, I know him. He doesn't know me very well. I feel like I know him better because obviously I've done a lot of research on him, followed him. Uh, I'm just so excited, so pumped to be able to be in the, the presence of a legend and be able to sit down and sit across from him for whatever time that he allows me to do that. So I, uh, I'll keep you updated and it's gonna be badass. It's gonna be badass. Wow. The light side was a little banged up. And... Yeah, no, it's, like it's a little banged up. No, pulled out. I don't know when you pulled up in your truck and you had to... Out with the metal in your hand, I was like, expected it to be like in a case one of those little velvet cases you bust yeah. open the top and boom, there it is. And I'm like, well, this this has seen better days. This fabric here. No, you know that thing reminds me. I mean, that thing's like a reminder of the worst day of my life. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't wear it. I don't, uh, you know, yeah, I don't, yeah, I never. You won't go in my house and see one thing that says, you know, anything about it. I don't. Yeah. I, I just don't. It's another mirror. I mean, I have very, very few right. things in, in my. Well, you're, you're all right. Look, I'll let you tell you this. I mean, you're, I, you're a cool motherfucker, and we're gonna hang out. We're not just gonna pass each other uh, at on it while we're working out. You, you gotta come over to the house and. Oh, man. I mean, and you're, you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, I keep very few uh, things that around. No, you know, I, I, I don't want that. your kids like thinking that's no, you, what your dad's all about. You know, I, I always, I always call it the Uncle Rico syndrome, right? Like, <laughs> it's, that, it's that thing where you know, you know, it's like what's next, right? No matter whether it's a win or it's a loss, it's only a moment in time, and uh, it's all just a moment in time. And you're the one that decides how long that moment in time is. But the longer you spend on whatever it is, that you're still spending on the past, and it's like what's next. And you know, I think, um, I think it would be. You know, you know, people people talk about you know, saving lives or whatever whatever that even means. You know, I look at you. I, I tell you, I've, I've looked up to you for a long time because, um, you know, there's no telling how many lives that you've saved. Mm. And you know, that, that's the one thing that 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 you know, no matter what any anybody can ever say, you know, they can say whatever they want, but you know what they can't do? They can't ever take away the lives that you have saved. Yeah. And you have saved people's lives, I appreciate and it's you incredible. That. It's yeah. a, you are, you are, you could stop today, and you are an incredible human being. Yeah, I'm not stopping today. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think of that. I don't think of that. But there's so many people have podcasts out. It's going to be one of these things where it's like, okay, I'll come on yours if you come on mine. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it, it's, we're getting there. Yeah, it's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. Everybody's doing it. So I'm just saying, I, I, but no, I, I have to I, be I, asked. I, I would, I would love to have you on. If you wait, so let me ask you: we, Are you gonna come on my podcast? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Done. We got it. We yeah. got the commitment. <laughs> no, I did. I, I like to make it a habit when the, when uh, a true American hero asked me to come on his podcast, I just say no. <laughs> yeah, well, it no. was it was like you. No, I'm not doing that. It was like you. Why why would I why why would I do that to come? I mean, it was the same thing. You like text. I mean, all me. this bullshit you just said the last hour. <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't inspired. Well, you text me and you go, uh, will, you, will you come on my podcast? And I'm like, who the hell tells you no? You know what I mean? Who who? What am I supposed to do? Uh, no, actually, I don't have time, Lance. No, I always do that. To my flip flops. Call it forward. No, I'm just Good. doing. Kiss your cum to your pants either. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome guys. Awesome. I tell you what, that kid had that shirt at the football game the other day. He was sitting in front of us. He says, he says, I love you more than Kanye loves Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good right yeah, good. all right so i can't tell you how awesome that was it was so awesome to be able to we just left lance's house it was so awesome to be able to sit next to that man and, and just to be able to hear him and talk to him and just it was just incredible i can't i can't say enough how excited i am so now i'm on the way me and knives we're on our way right there's knives i don't know if you can see him um so we're on the way to Dallas. So we're going to the Cooper Clinic. You'll be able to see more about that tomorrow. I will, um, we're going to drive up there and I'll get some more footage for you and kind of talk to you about what we're going to be doing up in Dallas and why I'm going and some things like that. On the way right now, it is 6.53 and we're just now heading to Dallas. Got about a three and a half hour drive ahead of us. Me and Knives are at it again. Made it up. Long drive, three, three and a half hours. 
good start early in the morning. I think six or seven o'clock. I don't know. Probably get a good workout in tomorrow. 